Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how you embark on a research assignment. Um, so this is relevant for area study three, but also any kind of future research that you might have to do. Um, and this is going to be targeted at science research. So what we're going to do start to do start, do to start with is um, look at a research question. Um, and you always start with something because um, you need some sort of direction to go in at the beginning. You may change the question. You may change the question. However, um, at the beginning, we'll just work with it. So we're going to go with this first one. What useful materials have resulted from nanomaterial research and what could be produced in the future? So that's quite a broad question. Um, and that means that I'm probably going to find a lot of literature on that that I could use. Um, but if I want to specifically answer it, it's quite hard because there's so many different ways of answering that. So what I'm going to look to do is refine that question. And that's really crucial. So to start with, we're going to look at our different search engines. So we've got Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a very powerful search engine um, and finds you lots of free information. So I'll just start by showing you that. Um, so if I just type in, I've already practiced before, see, if I type in um, nanoparticles, nanomaterials to start with. Reviews are a good way of looking at um, an area of research in general. So people write reviews like usually head, the people that are quite prolific in the field will write a review once a year or something like that to talk about that area of research. So we'll let's, let's start with a review. Okay, and usually these should be um, available to look at. Now on the right here you see PDF, that's the access to the free version. Sometimes that won't be available and that's because it's not free and, and you'll have to have a university or a school subscription to access that. Um, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So let's have a look um, at some of the titles. Environmental Concentration Engineering Metallities. Okay, so this is already steering my question to um, talking about environmental remediation, so the improvement of like damage that we've done to the environment, I suppose. So I'm going to click on the PDF for that. And this is a great place to start. Um, so I'm going to tell you now how to read um, a scientific article. You should always start with the beginning, the abstract. Um, be very critical of whether or not you think it's worth your time, because you can waste a lot of time reading stuff that's not going to end up being used and you need to kind of use your time wisely. So read your abstract. If you think it's relevant, go on and read the beginning and you can read um, any conclusions at the end. With a review, you're going to be looking at heaps of bibliography um, references because it's every bit of work. So you need to read through the text to know which reference is relevant to what. So reviews take a while to read. That's how a PhD or a master's level student or even a bachelor's level student would do, um, that would start a research, they'd read reviews. Now in high school, we've got some other ways of doing it. So I'm gonna show you how to access um, our library website to do this as well. So if we go to um, the Calthorpe Resource Center link on the left here in Simon, we have access to these databases down here on the left. Um, and these databases hold lots of subscriptions to different literature. Um, and we're interested in particularly this one at the bottom, EDS Discovery, which is a great uh, portal to find scientific work. So I'm going to um, type in nanomaterials as my search term to start with. Okay, so nano technology let's try okay now because it's such a big area of research it's actually pulled an encyclopedia page for me now this is really handy for high school level um, students to go in and find out um, a little bit more about an area of research so this this is just an overview of what nanotechnology is it's a bit like reading a Wikipedia page however um, it will be fact checked and probably slightly more reliable. Not that Wikipedia is always unreliable, but generally it's not as good as this. Okay, now we've got references at the bottom, which we might need later. So we can always use those if we think that they're relevant. And you'll see um, various references in the text usually. Well, I don't know if this article has done that. They've actually direct, 
specifically talks about people's work. So that's an area to um, start helping refine your question. Um, additionally, we can look at the results that were below it. So we can see here how we've got nanotechnology in cancer diagnosis. So I might want to read that. Now, this button here is called full text finder. It tries to find the PDF for you. Now, sometimes it won't be free and that it will say it hasn't found anything. It doesn't look like it's had much luck here. Why not? Okay, maybe not. So in this case, what I advise you do is, before you go any further, let's just read the abstract. Okay, if we still think it's relevant, then we're gonna make the effort to try and find the PDF. So you can control copy the title, and you can go to Google Scholar. Google Scholar is very handy for finding free stuff. Um, type in the title, copy paste the title, and search and see if it comes up. It does, and look at that. We've got a free website version of it. Okay, abstract is available, the background. Perfect, so this is the article of that. So what I'd do, once again, read the, the abstract and the introduction, then I'd skip to the conclusion, and if I think it's relevant, I will then possibly read a little bit more of it. Um, now the references at the end are also really useful. If it, if the if the article is is very relevant to your question, you will want to look through their references um, and see if any of those references are also re useful for you. So you'll know whether whether they're worth looking at by the fact that they're referenced in the text. So, for example, although there's been much promising progress in nanotechnological based cancer diagnosis, only a few examples have advanced to clinical trials reference 108. So I'm going to now look at that reference. So I'm going to copy that into Google Scholar because I want to know more about what that particular bit of work was. So once again, I'm going to type that into Google Scholar and see if it can find it. Let's just double check that this is the correct one. So this was by Muthu and Feng in 2013. Um, and it and it was um, in expert drug development. Okay, looks like there's a few relevant ones here um, that would be worth a look. And look, we can access the articles on the side there. So that's how you hunt around in a bibliography. I may then go back to the original one that I, was it of interest and I may find another reference and go through that. And slowly you build a network of papers that are relevant to your question. Okay, so I'm already steering my question now towards cancer research. So I might refine my original question to be about cancer research. I might, I might change it slightly to say, what useful, um, how has nanomaterial research um, benefited cancer research and what are the implications for the future. So by narrowing that down, I can get into much more specific information about it. Okay, that's an overview of how you can get your um, work started. So you've got reviews, they're a good place to start. You've got your um, your library web uh, EDS discovery link. That's also a good place to start. Um, and you'll find plenty of um, t uh, literature through there. And you've got Google Scholar as well. We're expecting you to read a fair few articles for this. So it would be ideal to probably have read about 20 articles and maybe cite and reference 10 of them um, in order to make sure that your research has good, strong scientific backing. Um, websites are okay, but scientific journals are better because obviously they're, they've been done um, in a kind of scientific way and should be peer reviewed and therefore reliable. So that's an overview. Um, I hope that helps. Good luck with your research.